Hello everybody, it's me, Strategic Primus, and we're back with part 3 of the Euron Greyjoy series. And as Jamie gets his golden hand that he should have had a while ago, probably. As I just noticed, he's also missing a leg, so... There's not exactly much left of uh, the Kingslayer. Hmm. Interesting, that. Anyhow, um, onto a bit of technical issues I've had with this save. Uh, the mod was still a little uh, iffy when I was playing last time, so we had a bit of a, a crash to save, as you can probably tell from a couple of things being just a little bit off. I had to go back a little bit and then replay forward a little bit. Uh, the problem is in that little bit, uh, Mace wasn't dead and uh, we didn't capture Willis, so that changes quite a bit. Also, as I would noticed when I was just sort of faffing about, uh, just before uh, filming this, uh, Jon Snow got his ass killed by the White Walkers. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about this, guys, but this is what happens when the mod updates a little. Um, things just begin to fall to pieces. It's not very uh, true to itself very often. Um, I've seen this happen before. Uh, I've had this happen frequently, actually. Uh, but it, this isn't too bad. Uh, it sort of kept to what we were doing. Um, but for my guesstimations of where things are and how things are going, we're about partway through the last episode when things crashed, and I played forward a little bit just to make sure it wasn't going to do it again. I think we're in a very similar year, I'm not entirely sure, but we're at 100% war score right now, which means it's sieging time, okay? So I'm terribly sorry that, uh, things crashed and I couldn't fix it. Um, I don't know the mod that well. Um, yeah, it's it's a rather fresh mod. Oh, and we have a son now. His name is Eurathon. I thought it'd be funny after the, uh, Eurathon was the one we, uh, <laughs> Euron may or may not have killed him. Anyway, um, excuse me, I'm having a bit of a cough. <coughs> Sorry, still a bit ill. Um, so yeah, that's what's happened. I am now busily trying to take as much land in the reach as possible. I believe that was the plan last time anyway. That's why I, I went back from the save file to get us back up to the right kind of uh, period. It's just so we're doing the same thing. You guys don't have to watch me faff about on the Iron Island smashing up armies again. Uh, as fun as that was. Um, I'm also going to say that this time around, I actually did manage to get them to come after me when I was sitting on the Shield Islands. Uh, so all of these are actually relatively sieged down still um the ai for some reason determined to actually cross from the manderford towards the oaken shield while i had a massive army uh sitting i believe it was the south shield but it might have been green shield i can't remember which and we smashed them um this is all that's left of tyrell forces i'm kind of sure of that and no there's more why does it say there's more give me a minute that's what I know is left of the Tyrell army. There might be more. I think there is more. It's just hiding on us. And, and uh, his sons aren't in command at the moment, so it's not as easy to just snipe where its location is. Well, I dig through here, find Withers. So he's the one in command of Lordsport. He's also in command at Lordsport. Anybody else? Do do. Not that I notice. Oh, and in this one, uh, I also noticed that Theon managed to get himself killed. Um, again, not sure when this happened. Uh, and 2279. Uh, must have been a bit early on. Uh, but we did manage to save Asha by we, I mean, Victarion didn't. And we probably don't like this being your own. But details. Um... So yeah, that's the story so far. I'm terribly sorry everything sort of went boom as I try to find somebody good enough for an Iron Maker because I owe them one, right? Alrighty. Okay. Now that we're done digging through and explaining, I'm going to let time start as we probably find where the rest of these Tyrell forces are, siege out enough of the Reach to actually call it ours, and uh, move on. Uh, this series is going to be mostly focused... Oh yeah, right. I was I was joining the uh, <clears throat> uh, the Hall of the Storm God, wasn't I? Um, I'm not gonna go t try to just gain greedy uh, because Euron isn't exactly actually all that greedy for an Ironborn. Um, actually, for an Ironborn, he's rather charitable. 
but his, his gifts are poison, remember. Um, so we're just going to say the lies are meant to hold us back. Uh, we've lost Lord's Port, which is a bit of an annoying thing, really. However, it doesn't do enough to actually harm our war score much. So I don't particularly care. So yeah, I'm just going to let time go. We're going to take Old Town. Um, Euron does this in books. Spoiler warning, of course. I think I actually forgot to say spoiler warning on this one. Terribly sorry, boys. Uh, but yeah, we are... This mod falls in the books, guys. It's a fact. Um, we got 10,000 men sitting on the arbor. I'm going to try to take Old Town, the arbor, um, and a lot of the various important places in the Reach. I can end this war whenever I want to. Uh, but I have no reason to yet, because the likelihood that Tommen comes in and tries to save their ass when he's barely winning against Stannis, not happening. And he also hasn't defeated the Blackwoods yet, so he's not coming for us yet. So we have plenty of time to be a nuisance. That being said, how's Stannis doing against the Boltons? Stannis is losing against the Boltons too, so that's kind of a bad news for us because we need to use him as our distraction and for some bloody reason Aegon is not here anymore he managed to get himself killed he lost to Stannis I've barely ever seen that happen but okay let's continue uh, we're we're making deals with gods now um, oh baby uh, so the fun part about uh, hitting up the high tower is that uh, they have a Valyrian steel sword called Vigilance, and uh, I want that because it goes with my Valyrian steel armor into making me a god. But by a god, I mean practically impossible to kill in battle. Um, y yeah, yeah, we're paying the iron price for that, and he just kneels and gives us it up because he understands that Euron is awesome. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's great, and uh, salt flight time. Uh, Mad Maid is a no. Also too old. 29-year-old Fazaway? That'll do. Again, you're on plans to wet Daenerys, but they're ironborn, what do you want? Anyway, uh, if, we, if we actually get around to uh, grabbing Daenerys, uh, well, we'll just murder a few people and make room. Anyway, uh... 573 men? That's not going to stop me. Uh, how about the Uliet? Do, 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 take that down. Take that down. I'm just going to tell my men to storm this stuff because we have way too many men just sitting around in one title here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want as few faith of the seven people under us as possible because they're going to hate me. Probably because we're, you know, a filthy dr drowned god worshipping Ironborn. And one of our potential heirs worships for lore, and the rest of them are filthy ironborn. Speaking of, who's my actual... Really? They're gonna give me give me that my heir is Eurothon. That's strange. Oh. We're not in elective monarchy. That's wrong. Um, game devs. Fix, please. Anyway, um... It's a little detail. Considering they've made this pretty stable, I just had one problem. That one problem, however, crashed everything. Um, let's just leave it at Euron is not a girl. Anyhow. Um, heh, funny things happen. Uh, great, people like me more. Or I like people more. Oh yeah, let's go. As we join a satanic cult. It's the usual things for that. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what it says. Power and pleasure, these are the gifts of the Storm God. I like the sound of that. And Euron is of course going to say, I uh, wish you'd found me sooner because it's... It's Euron. He's not going to care about sleeping with people other than his wife. We only married her to get the good brothers like, her, like us more. And he gives more men to go take the reach with. Ahem. I think this is a friendship. Or is it more... Hmm... Hmm. I'm going to go with... Oh, is it more? Because it's Euron. That just means we need to now murder off this good brother. And, you know, details. Actually, wait a second here. 
Am I not planning to kill anyone? Euron's not planning to kill anyone. That's a terrible idea. Alrighty. Who do we need murdered? Give me a minute. I need to think about this one. We could whack Victarion. The problem is I like Victarion, and he's half the reason why I'm playing this. Because Victarion is amazing in the books. Anyhow. Um... But we could whack him. Euron would totally try to whack him. Or get him to, you know, go grab a dragon queen from way over here. I'm gonna go with we're trying to get him to grab a dragon queen from way over there. Actually, give me... A, uh, she's out of contact range. Good, they fixed that. Who do we want to whack? Uh, is the husband of the woman I just seduced actually useful? Oh, man. I think CK2 makes me say. Okay, you... You useful? No, you're not. Do do do. Plot to kill. We. Okay. Yep. Proof for being Euron. Anyway, continue. Uh, the great and mighty storm god has given us so much, and it's time for us to offer him a gift in return. He craves a soul to serve him in their dark realm, and we have the perfect kind in mind. Sa capture and sacrifice a powerful ruler. Servant. Not sure what that means. Glory to the Storm God. Okay. Uh, portrait of a prisoner in my dungeon who is landed ruler. And click sacrifice to the Storm God. I know just who to go for. Hello, B Bailey Bright Smile. Do 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 do. As we uh, kill off the high tower whose sword I'm wielding. Oh, that's satisfying. I haven't mentioned playing as Euron in this is hilarious. Okay. That's a thousand men. I don't really want to waste men sieging it. And yes, it's still around Christmas when I'm filming this, so it is going to be playing uh, Songs of Yuletide too much, because I still haven't gotten off that mod. It's a refreshing bit of change of tunes. Hmm. Baelish is up to something. He always is. Is he on my watch list? Yes, good. Glad I fixed that. Do, 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 do. I could imprison... I don't really care enough to. You just want to kill Maester? I, I always want to kill Maester. You know, this is life. Alrighty, dighty. That's enough. 199 should do it just fine. We have a bunch of dark power because, well, Euron is high intrigue, is ambitious, is quick, is a mystic, is a torturer, is lustful, is arbitrary, and is ruthless. He's perfect for this. That's why I'm doing it. You know, I didn't intentionally seek them out. They sought me out. Ah, another salt wife to have. She's not highborn, but yeah, she'll do. Speaking of... Given that this is just going to produce salt wives of slightly inferior quantity, enjoy Victorian. And uh, Dagmer can be on there and put the humble. Over here, I want me in charge, because why not? Throw Asha into the mix, and Quill on humble. We'll do just fine. The reason why I'm doing this is because, well, frankly, I don't want to be just spammed with lowborn salt wives. I'd much rather have, you know, shots at highborn ones. Ah, uh, you're wrong. Alright, we sieged out all of Old Town. I'm going to split this army in half. Take the 6,000 men, march them f forward. March the 3,000 men that way. Such that if there's an army coming, we can easily go from Bandilin to Honeyholt or wherever that we need to go combat them. As the Tyrells are probably going to want to take back Old Town. That being said, they seem to be content to just sit in Old Port. In Lord's Port. Sorry, I almost said Old Port. That's... Ah, there's men in Appleton. Hmm. That's interesting. Appleton's up here, as I recall. Appleton, 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 Appleton. Every time I think I know where something is in the reach... Ah, there it is. They're in Appleton, up here. They're probably coming for Old Town. Just, you know, by the prickling of my thumbs. We probably outnumber them now. I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> We don't have outnumbered enough to do this sort of cafoonery. Uh, I've gotten one of my concubines pregnant. Lucky me. Means I have more salt children. Which 
means I have more uh, little bastards. I'm gonna go spy with my ships. Uh, hopefully they'll honor our obligations. Ah, we found some men, but it's not enough men. What the hell are they doing? You're imprisoned by King Tommen, and therefore not in the war. And you're just not in the war because you're a coward. Good to know. <clears throat> they seem to be wanting to head off the boats. To head to Lord's Port to try and siege me out. I don't mind that. However, I think Joff, uh, Tommen, sorry, not Joff, has uh, come to try and save the day here, and he has a shitload of men and more boats. I really don't want to have to deal with that, so I'm just going to uh, take my, what little more I can and run, because quite frankly, I don't want to deal with that. Jamie has died of poor health, uh, probably because of all the limbs he's lost, one-handed and one-legged after all. Uh, this leaves Tommen a little more open now, as the new... Head of the King's Guard is Boros Blunt. Fucking Boros the Belly is head of the King's Guard. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, we've taken the arbor now. Let's just uh, siege that. Thank you. Let's see. Nope, need to wait time. It's the whole time. We really don't want to wait time. And siege that. There we go. And siege that. There we go. I'm just taking these minor titles just to give whoever would give this to a little bit better chance. There we go. All right. Now it's Garth Greysteel. All right. We should be able to just annex the Arbor and hand it off to whoever we want to. And we should be able to hand off Old Town. Hopefully. But I've noticed that every once in a while the damn high towers slink off. So. Yeah, it's not very rich pickings yet. I would love to take Hard Garden. Let's go d do that. And we gotta be careful here because if Tommen's army shows up, I don't have nearly enough men to fight off 43,000 men as Victorion's coming for my ass. Brother, now? You couldn't wait three minutes? Let's hope he's uh, prone to accidents. We'll have to murder him later. And let's move the boats. And oh shit. My wife broke up with me. Oh no, sorry. Wait, what? Ingrid broke up with me. Oh, apologies. Somebody else broke up with me. Apologies, I, I thought my wife broke up with me. I'm like, really? Uh, ooh, yeah, yep, yeah, uh-huh, I'm not surviving that battle, so we are going to do the cocky thing of uh, accepting peace right now, and usurping as much as we possibly can. We've appeared to have stolen a book. Books of power, don't you know? And it's time to divvy up some titles. This is the part we've all been waiting for, isn't it? Alrighty. I'm just going to create new people to hold cities, because that's clearly not the job of Ironborn. And you get the idea. Cities and temples, I don't care about. Do, 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 but castles, castles matter. Castles I'm going to give to the guys who've served me well. Because I owe them one. I think the game automatically gives off these castles to the gentlemen who've been so helpful in taking them. Namely, Harris the Knight Harlaw. Andrick the Unsmiling, uh, who has taken the name of Reaver. And Nooch Flatnose, the barber. Good guys. I'm going to create the High Lordship of the Arbor, and probably give it away to somebody who deserves it. I will determine who that is in a moment. But first, Victarion's coming, so I kind of want to make sure that uh, the men get back home. Okay, we've won the war. Congrats. I promise this is actually kind of difficult to pull off. I'm not going to say it's impossible. It's just hard. Because if you don't know to do the little cheeky trick on the Iron Islands, you're not going to win. You don't have enough men. So, what do I want to do? Let's see how close I am to making the ape. Reach Iron Islands. Well, I could probably actually pull that off given that I'm a raider. Not sure that's Euron's prerogative. 
pretty sure it's not Euron's prerogative. I'm pretty sure he wants to do that or that. Um, but the game won't let him do that easily, so I'm going to want to, you know, get some more kids first, just because I'm probably going to have to come to blows with me, Terion. And who knows who wins. All right. Wait, what? Oh, I, I can just arrest Victarion? Guys, uh, this 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 is silly. I just arrested Victarion. He shouldn't be in my court. He's trying to declare war on me. That's weird. I think that's a glitch. I'm not sure. I'm gonna call it a glitch at least. Let's see if anyone's actually good enough. Uh, no. Nope. 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 Yeah. Iron Maker is close. Left is pretty good. But he's old. I don't want to give him land. Do, do, do. And now we get all of the good commanders in the Reach, as well as all the good commanders in the Iron Islands. And you begin to just see that this is a murder blob waiting to happen. So, first things first, I'm going to go over here. Find my good friend, Clefjaw. Dagmir the Clefjaw. Or Dagmir Clefjaw, whichever you prefer. I'm going to lord award him the High Lordship of the Arbor, because quite frankly, he deserves it. He's helped me a lot, and he's taken the name Lord Reaver Dagmir Clefjaw Darkin. The pretty decent sigil, although... I'm going to make that a little bit better. I'll do it off screen. Uh, so you don't, guys don't have to sit there and watch as I change this from... You know, something with hearts to something a little more badass. <clears throat> now we have the pleasure of... Actually, I could sit on all the titles I have now. Uh, but I kind of want to give some of them away. Oh, Green Shield went to the Volmark. Right. I forgot about that. Uh, now, let's find some more dudes to give this stuff to. The Iron Makers probably deserve a seat. I, I might even want to uh, go as far as to give them Old Town. The Humbles also deserve something. Let's go to take a minute. So I determine who who's most deserving. I think Thormir Ironmaker is. Rick. Who are we, Rick? Well, the true answer would be Eric, but he's dead. He died better and infirmed. So I'm going to go with Eric, because he's the head of the house. And I'm going to give him... Uh, I think I'm going to give him Old Town. Yeah. Uh, just because the Iron Makers helped put us on the throne. And they deserve it. Also, I like the sigil. And his grandfather did give us uh, quite a good service in dealing with uh, whether you want to call her Asha or Yara, I don't care. As well as, well, managing my money. <clears throat> We're still going to be murdering him. And now let's go look over to what more lands and titles we can give away. Honey Holt. Let's see. Who do I want to give Honey Holt to? I'll give it to another Iron Maker and make this Iron Maker land. Or, I can give it to the Humble. Whichever Humble I prefer, really. I'm going to give it to Burton Humble. Oh, he's dead. Will Humble, Burton Humble. Definitely Burton Humble. I'm going to give him a honey hold. There we go. So we've landed the Humbles, we've landed the Iron Makers, and we of course landed Dagmir fucking Clefjaw. He's awesome. I love him in the books. Anyway, that'll be it for the moment. I hope you all have enjoyed this episode as we've uh, won in the Reach and have divvied up land. I have a sneaking suspicion we're now going to have to go deal with a whole series of rebellions, revolutions, and... Victarion being an asshole, but that will be all for a later time. If you've liked this video, please, you know, show me you liked it by liking it. And or subscribe if you want to be updated about future content. Thank you all very much. This has been Strategist Primus. I'll see you in the next one.